Did you fly Southwest over the holidays? I know a lot of people that did, and I know several that got stranded. But it's interesting because I talked to them just the other day, and they're still loyal. Actually, one of my friends got 20,000 miles as a thank you for flying and as an apology for delaying his flight. So, you know, 20,000 miles um, it made him happy. So why are people loyal to Southwest? Well, we have to kind of go back. We have to go back to the way beginning when Southwest was first founded and got in the air back in the 70s. It was going to be a no-frills airline. It was going to be cheaper than the other airlines. It was going to be friendly, as we all know. Remember, anybody remember the go-go boots when those stewardesses came out, those white go-go boots? I'm old enough to remember that. People were wanting to listen to what the flight attendants and the pilots were going to say as they were boarding the plane. It was a lot of fun. Not only was it fun, but there were perks, and those perks are here today. Think about it if you fly Southwest. Number one, you don't have to pay for your bags. There's no fee or bag charges. Um, number two, if you fly a lot, you can actually have a companion pass. I know I've done it several times where I've had my kids fly free as my companion. Um, no cancellation fees, which is pretty cool, right? You can cancel at any time and there's no fee. And there are no assigned seats. And that works great, unless you're in boarding group C. That's so good. And you know what? They care. They care about their passengers and their customers. And they took those peanuts off because those kids have peanut allergies. You're not going to find a peanut on Southwest anymore. So they've got lots of perks. People love Southwest. But then this happened, the big meltdown. And the question is, will those loyal customers come back? And you know what? They will. They've got to fix their people problem. You see, when Southwest was founded, it was about people first. And Herb Kelleher, the founder of Southwest, said, we are going to treat our employees the way we treat our customers. And that's going to have to, we're going to have to see if that remains. There's a new CEO right now. Gary Kelly was CEO after Herb, and now there's a new CEO. And I'm sure, I'm sure that he is looking at all of this. But only time will tell. I'm going to continue to fly Southwest, and I'm going to cross my fingers, and I'm going to hope that they continue as Herb did, to treat all of their employees, from people on the ground to people who are putting bags on our planes to those that take our calls, all of their employees as they would their customers. Fingers crossed.